How's it going everyone? I've got a bit of an impromptu uh, motor vlog for you today. Uh, I've just uh, nipped over, collected my bike from my uh, father-in-law's garage. Um, that since we moved into the new house now, I've, I've got a nice big garage for this uh, bike to live in. So I'm going to be introducing it to its new habitat today. Um, I've just about cleared enough space. I'd, I'd done the uh, garage renovation, the, uh, uh, the video that I posted on this channel. Uh, a couple, it must be a couple of months now. Back during its summer, one of the first things I did to the house is uh, you know paint all the walls, paint the um, floor with garage floor paint, make it to a nice little workshop. Although when we moved in, all the uh, junk that we needed to sort out was ended up just going into the garage. So I've been busy trying to sort that out. It's still uh, taking up a lot of space, but I've got all my shelving units up now, and uh, I'm just on my way to, to uh, screw fix as a waypoint to collect a few more hooks for the uh, for the walls to hang a few more things to clear some space for my bike. So well, that's the plan for today. It's probably the, the last ride of the year. Well, they're saying that the last time we rode it was probably mid summer. It's now uh, mid uh, mid November. It's quite warm for this time of year today, but the roads are still a bit wet and greasy, so got to take it easy. But uh, just going to uh, nip into town, go to screw fix, get some hooks and some other bits and bobs that I'm uh, that I'm wanting, and then uh, go and take me take my bike back to the new house, clear a bit of space, and uh, tuck it in for hibernation over winter. If I remember how to ride it, the hell. I'm a bit wobbly. <laughs> this bike brakes a bit grabby. It's a bit grabby and squeaky. He's taking me by surprise. Whoa! Enough of these roads weren't like riding through Baghdad. I keep falling into potholes, and it sends me handlebars wrong way. One thing I do need to get actually, I might ask Father Christmas if uh, he can bring, bring me a uh, battery charger, like a trickle charger I can leave on over winter. That would be ideal because um, I have to leave this for months at a time before riding it. Although, at least next year when the uh, weather picks up again in spring, it would be a lot easier to go out on my bike without having to get all my biking gear and then go for a hike around to my uh, uh, mother and father-in-law's house to get my bike out. I could just walk out the front door, open the garage, jump on it, and go for a spin, which would be, uh, which would be ideal. At least coming down here on my bike, I can avoid these mountainous speed bumps, especially this one here. I think they've tried to repair it a bit, but you can see all this patchwork. You'd, you'd end up going like down craters before actually hitting speed bumps, so we're like uh, going off roading. There we go, first destination. Not KFC. Screw fix. Have any trouble finding a parking space at least? Oh, or maybe I will. Oh, this one. A valet parking. Must still be open. Collection number is 862, it'll be a couple of minutes. Yep, okay, thank you. Thank you. Who's next, please? Thank you very much. I do like Screwfix, my new favourite DIY store. We've got one pretty close to the new house, so I've called in there loads of times, just 15 minutes away. No messing about having to walk around store trying to find what you need. Just look at what you what you want to order online. Give them code, and then they're out. But they go and find it and bring it out for you within a couple of minutes. So it's handy. Check if they've got stock beforehand, which is the reason I've come to this one actually because they only had one of the hooks that I needed, which is not really uh, much use. 
expecting at least a pair. Ordered a sofa from there the other day. Got that should be coming in a week or two. Another reason I love screw fix is uh, you often get things a lot cheaper than you do at other stores as well. This is not sponsored by Screwfix, by the way, this, vi <laughs> this video. Although if anyone from Screwfix is watching, quite like a discount. That's another thing actually, you do actually get bulk discounts. I've just bought six of those hooks. And if you buy two, more than two, you get a bit of a, a, bit of a discount off. What were it, about 50 pence per hook. So it sort of adds up when you buy quite a few. But uh, I, mean, I bought some like little nail type things to go on the bottom of some like furniture you know to stop them so they can like slide around at laminate floor without scratching it and um, like in a normal DIY shop you'd be paying like same price for a pack of 10 and you get like 100 in this in this pack for like less than a fiver not that I need that many but at least I've got a few spares here we are and welcome to your new home <coughs> Let's find some keys to get in. Here, Bobster. Right. So it's clear some space. It's a work in progress still. <laughs> it's a bit fuller than than you last when you last saw it. Uh, when it was completely empty, I've got my uh, my storage um, units attached to a back wall there. Got me uh, mirrored wardrobes ready for the gym setup, which is going to be in this area somewhere. Um, this is all kind of like outdoor stuff that I need to figure out where to put. I've meant to start on hanging things on wall. I've got some space here. I've just got to watch out for where half our doors come out. So I don't want to obviously block access to, you know, stop doors from opening. But in the meanwhile, I need to move some things to make some space for the bike to fit. There we go, that finishes off another moto vlog. Hopefully next time you see this garage it'll be a bit uh, tidier. Uh, all this junk should have gone next time. And that should have a nice uh, sp special space for my bike. Got a nice workshop in the middle. A nice work table, workbench thing. Um, and the middle gym setup should be uh, all complete too. So uh, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>